Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm excited to share with you the brand new February 2019 Glimmer Hot Foil Club Kit of the Month. And this is it. Now this I think is so fantastic. This is the second actually um, kit that's been available. And I'm so excited. I thought this was perfect. But in this month's kit you get two dies you get a banner both of them are banner dies um, one will cut out a three a five and a half inch banner and then the other one cuts out a fit about a three and a quarter inch fishtail banner now the glimmer plates you get eight in total and they're all sentiments which i just think is so fantastic the largest is the congratulations and it fits in both banners perfectly so all of them will fit in both of these banners and you can shift them left to right to customize your cards but I think this is fantastic because I, I'm actually slowly building a collection of glimmer plates. And I it's nice to do stamping on glimmer, but when you add um, gold foiling to your gold foil plates that you created on your project, it just makes a super elegant card. So I'm so excited about these. Now these are all blocked off. And there's eight in total. I like the fact that they are blocked off because there are some beautiful, elegant glimmer plates out there with sentiments. But you get congratulations, happy birthday, just for you. You get hello there, thank you, best wishes, and then with love. So you get a huge variety, I think great for almost every occasion. And then as always, you get a glimmer, a roll of glimmer foil. This month you get gold, which is lovely because I don't have the gold. I have a a uh, matte gold but not a regular gold so this is the kit contents this month and we're going to make a few projects now i'm going to show you that um a few elements that i'm going to be using to create my projects today um and everything that i use today will be linked below including if you're new and want to know more information about the glimmer hot foil club i'll link it down below but we're going to be using this die set from spellbinders it's called the stylized flower we're going to use a few flourishes from there and then a few of the leaves. I'm also going to bring in a die set called Hemstitch Rectangles. This is a rectangle set and I'm going to use a Spellbinders embossing folder that's super pretty. And I'll link those down below as well. But those are part of the Glimmer Club. But they're, they're items I'm going to be using today to create my two projects. So we're going to bring out our Glimmer Hot Foil machine. I already turned it on or turned the power button on. There's three buttons. One's a power indicator, the other one's a ready light, and then the other one is a timer. So we can't foil until our ready light flashes green. So in the meantime, we are going to do some die cutting. I'm going to create a frame with the hem stitch rectangles here. I'm going to create I'm going to grab three of them. Now the inside one and the outer one will die cut out the frame, and then the inside element will just cut out like polka dots. And I decided to keep the polka dots inside my frame, just for a little bit of added detail. And I'm sorry about the, the in and out focus. <laughs> my camera's not behaving very well. But that's my frame. It's going to be in the center of my card base there. Now we're still waiting for that to warm up. So I'm going to take some Distress Oxide ink, and we'll do a little bit of ink blending with some Dusty Concord. And I'm not really blending it together very well because we're going to die cut out a few of our flourishes with the purple. I'm just adding it to regular white cardstock and then I'm going to add some green with some um, I believe it's shabby shutters. Yes. Okay now we're going to do some die cutting using the stylized flower set. I'm going to cut out a few leaves and then a few of the flourish with the purple and then I'm also going to bring in some gold cardstock. I'm going to get um, I cut out a few gold flourishes also. So we're ready to go. I'm going to give you a close up what they look like because these have embossed detail and they're so pretty. And I thought the gold would bring out the gold foiling. So our glimmer machine is ready to go. I brought out my Platinum 6. What I like to do is take a piece of regular printer paper that's five and a half inches by four and a quarter and I place that down on my the base of my glimmer hot foil system first. And this for me is just easier versus using the grid lines on my my base plate. But I added the sentiments that say happy birthday and just for you. I added them face up and then I'm placing my foil over the top 
face down. Next I'll add my cardstock and it's also four and a quarter by five and a half so I just lay it right over my printer paper. Now we build our sandwich with the shim plate and then our top plate and then we press the, the timer and it will be ready when my timer starts slashing. So we have a little bit more time. So while my plates are heating up, we are going to emboss. So I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock, add it to my embossing folder, and then we'll just run that through our Platinum 6 and emboss our background panel. I had to grab my, my Platinum 6 plates. <laughs> so there's our embossed panel. Super pretty. And our lights stop flashing. So we're ready to disconnect from the docking station. Now, um, when you disconnect, you want to be careful not to shift your paper or your foil. Because if you do this, you're going to get excess foil around your sentiment. So you want to make sure that that stays positioned. But I like running it through my die cut machine forward and back kind of on the slower side and then we just remove our plates. I'm going to take my cooling mat and add my sentiment plates here. And that's all the foiling we're going to do today. So we'll, play, we'll just set our machine aside, give us a little bit more room. But you'll see here how beautiful these foil, my goodness. And if you add a glimmer, uh, a glimmer plate foil background, I think it'd be just stunning. But there's my happy birthday and my just for you. Now we're going to take the dies that came in this month's kit. We're going to die cut out just for you with the banner die. And I'm going to kind of place it a little bit more towards the right. Give me a little bit of room on the left here. I'll just tape it down and I'll do the same thing with my happy birthday. I want my happy birthday to be a little bit more towards the left. And this is going to fit the entire panel length, which is great. Now we'll just run this through the Platinum 6. I'll grab my plates here and they die cut beautifully. I was so excited about the sentiments. I thought, because well, I like things that coordinate. <laughs> and so if you can foil sentiments, I think it's wonderful. And I love the block style of the sentiments. So there's my happy birthday. And then here is my just for you. Super pretty. Okay, while we have our, our um, die cut machine still here. I'm going to take a piece of vellum and just lightly go over it with my Dusty Concord blending tool. And then I'm using the same stylized flowers. I'm going to take one of the largest flowers in the set and die cut out two flowers. I wanted to create a real soft flower and I thought vellum would work great. So there's one. We'll just take that out and we'll die cut out our second one. Okay, now we'll put that aside. Now we're going to, um, earlier when I showed you the banner strips, I cut them out with gold, so I thought we'd put those to good use. Um, I'm going to actually offset them with my sentiment um, just a little bit. This is going to really make that gold foiling pop, and I just think it looks gorgeous. It's going to give a 3D effect too. I'll do the same thing with my 5.5 inch banner here. lovely super pretty okay for our first card I'm gonna add some tape behind my frame and when I did this um, my tape runner actually pulled up a couple of the dots so hindsight maybe I would have used double-sided tape instead because I was trying to find the other dots but it actually rolled back in my tape runner but I think it's okay because we're gonna cover that area up with our sentiment so next I'm going to adhere a few of my flourishes to the left of my frame, just kind of arranging them how I want them to go. After I had figured out my placement, I'm going to kind of lower them a little bit to cover up those dots that I lost. But I added some foam tape behind my frame and a few behind my flourishes. We'll just place this in the center of our, our card base. I think the purple and the gold with the green on white is just stunning. I love that. Now we're going to go ahead and add some foam tape behind our sentiment. And then we'll just add a few of the green leaves 
kind of doing a little tucking. I'm just adding them with my glue. And then for bells and whistles, I'm going to bring in some purple sequins. Um, three is the magic number. I've been using um, three sequins on my projects later, and I think it's just the perfect amount. But I'll just adhere those to my panel with my glue. And then that will complete my first project using the sentiment strips. I just think they're just gorgeous. Okay, let's make another project. I'm going to take my embossed panel. We're going to trim it down to four inches by five and a quarter. It's going to leave me a little bit of a white border on my card base. I'll just adhere that with my tape runner. Now after that's adhered, we're going to kind of figure out our placement. I'm going to add some foam tape behind my sentiment. We're going to make a landscape style card to go with our our sentiment. I'm not going to remove the release paper just yet. I'm kind of going to figure out my placement. I'm going to glue both of my vellum flowers together. Originally I was going to go on top, but I thought if we pushed them underneath, um, I think it would look a lot nicer. So we'll add our flower and a few of the gold flourishes. And then we'll add a few greenery with the leaves. And one more. I think that looks great. That's my placement. So I'm going to keep those in place, remove my sentiment, and then just using my glue, I'll adhere all my elements down. Lovely. And then we'll just remove the release paper off of our foam tape from our sentiment and place that over our flower. And it fits it beautifully. Super pretty. Now I thought it needed a little more, so I'm bringing in some gold twine. I'm going to double it up and tie a bow. We'll just trim down the tails. And then I'll adhere that right next to my sentiment with the glue dot. And I think the, the gold foiled sentiments are so pretty. And I, um, very, very clean versus a uh, gold embossing powder. It, it's just real smooth and real clean. I really think this is lovely to have in your stash. But that completes my second project. We'll grab our first project. And so these are the two cards that I made with the Glimmer Hot Foil Club for February 2019. Wonderful sentiment strips. And again, links will be down below, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I wish you a lovely day. And we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.